Hey guys, what's up? I am here to give you guys a recap on a new chapter of One Piece, which is on chapter 952. Yeah, 952. Now, I know, right? It took a very long time, or should I say many hours later, for the chapter of One Piece to get translated. Due to the fact of what happened to our sources getting in trouble by law, if anything. That's the reason why this recap chapter of One Piece is late. I mean, I would have done, I stayed up stayed up like almost at least past 12 midnight to, to wait for the chapter but apparently because of certain situations it did not get translated in time and I needed to head to bed so if anything else let's just get this started we had to that Zoro fought the guy who stole Shusui from him and he actually corners him on the ground and gets ready to like take his life if he doesn't give his sword away but apparently the guy tells Zoro no I can't give you that sword ever since Shusui was the stolen treasure of Wano there's been a day of misfortune ever since, ever since. And chaos came to the freaking island. And he even sees to it that Zoro and the monk ends up continuing to fight each other. And we see to it that um, Kawamatsu or Kawamatsu shows up and stops the fight and says, Why the hell are you guys fighting, huh? This isn't the time. And we see to it that Hiyori's actually happy to see Kawamatsu alive and... Zoro's like, is this guy a fisherman? And even the monk goes like, oh wow, who is he, he's alive kind of thing. We see to it that Big Mom and Kaido are still going head to head against each other. Seeing how these guys are, these two are Yonkos, the strongest pirates in the entirety of the new world. Obviously, um, the fight's supposed to last a little bit longer. As for Kaido, I don't know. I mean, he's called the strongest creature in the world, but Big Mom's Big Mom, so... What the living sh is going to bound to happen, we don't know. I mean, who knows? Aside from that, we see to it that everyone is actually shocked that Kaido and Queen are still he uh, button heads against each other. And we see to it that Queen wants to go check on the Udon Mines and makes a call. And we see to it that, like, um, that he gets some news that from his, f from his chief jailer, Baba Nuki, Giving him the lies that everything's okay, you know, nothing much is going on. But Queen's like, are you sure it's okay? Later, bye-bye. And we see to it that Udon Prisoner Mine is actually overtaken thanks to um, Thomas Dongo taking over the guy's body due to the fact that he's animal now, etc. We see to it that they give a lie to Queen saying that everything's okay. Ry Rizo's actually happy to see that everything's fine and we got a lot of followers. As for the Yakuza members... We see to it that they are shown from Udon, Hakumai, Ringo, and Kibi. And apparently because of that, they almost killed Luffy because Luffy might have made a simple compliment or something. But he, Luffy was saved the last minute before um, <laughs> he was going to get himself cut up or killed, etc. You know? And we see a scene with like um, Kinemon getting blueprints about like um, Kaido's mansion, Onigashima, you know? So this is a way how to like... Um, attack his headquarters whatsoever. Unfortunately, they don't have the armories or weapons or supplies to actually fight, um, freaking, like, um, Kaido's army. Of course, they have 3,500 men, etc., along with many others. They are lacking weaponry or armory. And right now, like, um, possession of weapons have been forbidden across Wano by Orochi, so we can't really fight anyone for a rebellion, and it won't last long. And we see too that Kinemon rem remembers that there might be some swords being placed somewhere else right now. So he's going to take a look around. And we see too that Hiyori hugs Kawamatsu and is, and is very happy that he is okay. We see to it that like um, Zoro remembers that Kawamatsu would be the one to take care of Hiyori, you know. And we see to it that um, eventually after much happening we see to it that Zoro and Kawamatsu gets attacked by Kaido's men and they're getting ready to cause some trouble against them but Zoro and Kawamatsu gets ready to take them on take them down like um effortlessly you know and of course Kawamatsu would take the first move while Zoro would take on a couple subordinates while Zoro looks back at the monk and he goes like hey why the hell are you running again huh and he ends up and the monk ends up crying and says Kawamatsu I'm so glad that you I'm so glad, I'm so glad you're okay. And that's about it. Sorry for having to be a little off here and there, which has always been happening in my One Piece recap videos. Um, 
this chapter right here just involves Luffy and everyone else getting ready for war against Kaido's um, headquarters. But unfortunately, they need weapons or armories to fight to arm 3,500 men. But they don't, they don't have the right resources or weaponry to actually do the cause. And of course, eventually we see to it, um, Kaido and Queen are still fighting against each other or clashing. So, depending on the situation, either one injures the other, or the other one injures the other, to a point that they get exhausted. Just, but just by the looks of it, they still going head to head against their butts <laughs> whatsoever. So, if anything else, that's about it, people. Um, nothing much has happened here, like I said, and repeating myself in all my re recaps, if anything. Um... Yeah, Kaido and Big Mom still fighting against each other while Luffy and the others are getting their getting the getting ready for war eventually. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye bye. Choo!